Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today's video is a troll beads video. So I have some new beads and new designs that I wanna share with you. And I thought I would do it in a little bit of a random way, uh, just mix it up a little bit. So the bracelet that you're looking at now is called the Enchanted Animal Kit and features a lot of those beads. I really love this bracelet and I haven't taken it apart yet. And while I can't call this a permanent design, it's definitely been lasting quite a while. Uh, there is one new bead on here. It's this elephant bead. I managed to find this one pre-loved. Super cute. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's not as detailed as the lion and the lioness. This lion and lioness is absolutely amazing. You've got the lioness there. And then if you flip it over, there's the lion. Like, so creative. Love troll beads for that. The next brace that I want to share is my Pandora Open Bangle. This is the only open bangle I own of any brand and it's a size 2 so it's actually a little bit big on me. I probably could do a size 1 but then it does limit me to how many beads I can put on it. So this is the size 2 and I started using it for my troll beads because using the glass beads actually tightened it up for me a little bit and it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, it's not too loose. I find with the bangles, you, there's like a, a happy place where you don't want it too tight, you don't want it too loose. It's just, yeah, because I definitely can't do a tight bracelet. So the star of this bangle is, of course, the Troll Anemone Pendant. Like, amazing. So the pendant goes from this end to this end right here. So it is quite a large pendant. I haven't used it as a pendant as yet. I've only put it on bracelets. Um, inside the pendant, I've got a sunstone. It has a nice little glitter to it, that warm, earthy color. And then I've got a black armadillo. This black armadillo has a faint white stripe. I've seen some with the wider white stripe, but I'm actually happy with this one. And this Roses for Mom is just amazing. Look how they made the flower petals, the different colors. Just stunning. There is also a White Roses, and I believe that one's getting retired, so I definitely want to get my hands on that one. And then next to it, I put, um, I believe this one is called Brown Desert. It has a lot of sparkle to it. And shocking, I actually like the color brown. So I like warmer tones. I like earthy tones, anything kind of natural. And yeah, so I know you normally wouldn't put black and brown together, throw in some roses, but I think it works. I'm actually really pleased with it. Next, I wanna share some new beads with you, and this is the Daffodil of March. Troll Beads Canada had all of the Flowers of the Month beads on for 20% off, and the neat part of the Flowers of the Month is there is hidden pearl inside each of the beads. So the pearl is a cultured freshwater pearl, and beautiful daffodil. I really like the stem, how it wraps around. And then you've got a second daffodil. So when this is hanging naturally on a bracelet, it does do that. But because the daffodils kind of peak up, and you know, as you're wearing a bracelet, it does tend to roll around a little bit. It's super cute, very nice. So this is my first of the flowers of the month. I know a lot of people like the June one. Um, I think December is really popular, like the bigger flowers. I went with this one first because it is um, a meaningful month for me. Um, June is also a meaningful month. Uh, December is my husband's birthday. So I just kind of lucked into most of the months being the more showier beads. So not gonna complain about that. And then there is also a 60% off sale on select beads. And it's so hard to turn down a good sale. This bead is called Gleam Stripe and I really like the shade of green. Um, green is one of my favorite colors and I wanted to get more green beads in my collection. So this one has that faint green stripes and then underneath is a gold glitter. This next bead is called Coral Stripe or Clear Coral Stripe, I believe it is. And so you've got the clear glass and this one here, the stripe is on the top and then you can see how it's clear underneath the stripe. And it's just a really pretty color. It's kind of like a warm, happy summer color. And next I've got Organic Stripe, and this one has a lot of cream to it. I think I've seen these with a little bit more green, a little less cream. It's just, they, there's so much variation because these are all handmade, and I really like that. 
Um, I like the variation. I never used to be that way. I used to like all of my Pandora Muranos to look identical to each other. But once I started getting into troll beads, I started appreciating the differences between them. Um, so I prefer variation now versus having like little clones of the same glass bead, but beautiful. And this one definitely has a lot more cream to it. I do have the organic bubbles, so this will be nice to pair with it. And then the last bead that I got in the 60% off is the Blue Symmetry. And again, I've seen some with the more blue, less gray, um, and it goes the other way. So I don't have a lot of blue in my collection, so I thought this one would probably be useful in adding that touch of color. And now we're gonna come to a bracelet design that I put together that just absolutely makes my heart sing. And I use that saying quite a bit. I heard that saying when I was picking out our granite countertops and I was in this huge warehouse full of like 300 samples of countertops. And the older fellow there was so kind and patient. And then he just told me, you know what? You pick out what makes your heart sing. And when I was looking at the variations, there is definitely ones that made my heart sing and then there was ones that appealed to my practical side but I went with the one that my heart was attracted to and I still love it to this day. So anyway, going totally off tangent there. <laughs> but this bracelet makes my heart sing. It's the Native Elements kit that it's using mostly. And I have it on the Woodland bracelet. So this is the Woodland bracelet lock and it's got that natural leaves there. And then we've got the orange pod and I am so fortunate. I have a very dear Pandora Troll Beads sister and she is so sweet and kind and she gifted me this orange pod. And of course, you know, she wanted to surprise me. And at the same time, um, Pandora Canada brought, reintroduced the orange pod because previously it was sold out and I couldn't find it. But I think that I needed to have two of them on this bracelet because I think if I just had the one, I'm missing something, but that little extra touch, it just really made the bracelet. And then next to that, I've got the maple leaf. This little tiny maple leaf, I believe is being retired. So if you do like the more petite nature charms, silver charms, this is a good price point. It probably is gonna be reduced soon. Aqua edge petals. And this is one of my very first Troll Beads purchases. Love that tone of green, so pretty. Uh, green pod and this one of course has the orange leaves this one has the green leaves I can't remember the name of this bee but it is the leaves of three and then this is also a gift from my troll bead sister in this case and it's um, I believe it's called aqua edge triangle and the bead is definitely shaped like a triangle as you can see and it has the same detail this one is my petals, and I've got it facing this way. It can go the other way. There's so much variation in how you want this bead to look. Red pod, okay, this is the one that started it all for me on this kit. I got this bead first, fell in love with it. So for some reason, this bead and me, we just work really well together. And then when I got that, I added in the aqua edge petals and yeah then I just wanted the whole kit because I just love it. This is from the Hues of Wonder bracelet set so it's one of the little beads that was included. Seed pods because you know I've got the pods on here and I thought that was a good match. I had to go overseas to Denmark to find this one. This one is the Aqua Edge Pumpkin and it's got really cool texture. On one side, it looks like that, and then the other, it looks like the segments of the pumpkin there. It's really nice. I like the little touch of turquoise. Orange pod. Um, this one is the bead that came with the bracelet, so it matches the clasp. Another one of the aqua edge petals, because I'm not afraid of duplicates if I love a design so much. And this is my Native Elements bracelet, and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. It's, uh, it's definitely a favorite, and even my husband commented when he saw this one, he's like, oh, that's you. Like, he, he knows me, of course, so well, and he's like, yeah, that's totally you. Now, the next couple of beads are inspired by this beautiful lucky dragon, and this little lucky dragon is so cute. There's something about his face. I just love him. 
It actually reminds me, um, his face reminds me of the Winnipeg charm for Pandora, if you know what I mean. But the next couple of beads were inspired by this dragon because I was actually picking out companions for him. And one of those beads is the shield. So this little petite one has been in the 50% off sale for quite a while and it just kind of gets restocked when it sells out. I really like it. I like the um, oxidization, the little shield effect. And I just think it's a really nice bead. Once I received it, I really appreciated it. And I just think these two go really well together. So then Troll Beads Canada had a flash sale that was 30% off and I believe it was for New Year's Eve and I was lucky enough that I was able to participate in that. And the next bead I got is this green malachite here. So it's one of the round stones. I have the sunstone and now I have the malachite. And I think Klaus did a fantastic job picking this one out. And I think this shade of green works really well with the silver and these other beads. And then I picked up a kit and actually it was my daughter that talked me into this kit. It was her favorite kit. She was browsing the Troll Beads Canada website and she just kept telling me, um, mom, take a look at this one, take a look at this one. And she's been telling me actually for a few months when I first got into Troll Beads, she loved this kit from the moment she saw it. So anyway, she definitely influenced me and I purchased the kit. So this kit is retired now and it's called the Enchanted Days Kit. It came out in spring 2017. This one here, I haven't cut the string yet. I find it really hard to cut the strings when you receive a kit. But once I received this kit, I was actually really impressed and very grateful that I did order it. And my daughter's feeling very proud that she helped me pick it out. So let's cut the string. That's hard, but let's cut the string and I'll share the individual beads with you. Okay, we'll do it together and, oh, they just went flying. <laughs> okay, I'll gather them up and share them with you. This first one is called Soulmates and it, look how nice it is with the malachite. Beautiful. And at first I thought Gleam Stripe was gonna be really similar to Soulmates because they both have, you know, that bronze glitter in the background, but they are a little bit different shade of green, but you know, definitely a similar bead because they both have the stripe. And staying with green, we've got perfect moments. And I'm just totally appreciating the artwork in this bead. Um, you see that dark green stripe there? I'm not sure what that is, but it doesn't really stand out obvious when it's on your bracelet. It stands out more in camera here, but I think it pairs really well with the malachite. And it kind of goes with this theme with the dragon. And then we've got this orangey type bead here, and this one's called Once Upon a Time. So you've got that orange base, you've got the green polka dots with the bronze glitter inside the polka dots, and they kind of have that stretched look to it. It's actually really unique. This one I was kind of hesitant about when I was looking at the entire kit. I knew I would like the green ones, but I wasn't sure about this, but now that I see it, I really like it. I think it's different. And then we have Love and Laughter, and this one is orange with bronze. So you can see the theme here. I think all of these have the bronze glitters so far, and we've got the two orange together. This one has quite a bit of glitter to it, more glitter, I think, than orange. I threw a curveball into this kit, and they put in Sweetness, and Sweetness has a lot of pink. It's got some yellow, it's got some blue. Um, there's a little bit of grayish tone there, some white. It's unique, but uh, you know, like if I was designing a kit, I would never think to put this with these, but it works, right? And that's the best part of a kit is there's some professional designer that gives you a little bit of uniqueness that I wouldn't pair together otherwise. And why it works is because of this bead, and this one's called Chances, and this one just kind of ties it all in together. You've got the green stripe, the pink stripe, and then the bronze stripe going on the other side. You've got that little white in the back. You have some darker. This is actually a bead that's pretty complex until I never really noticed it until now. But, And I think I'm going to design this kit with the Lucky Dragon. I can see that all working really well together. 
and this kit is retired now and most of these beads are in the sales section so this gives you a nice close-up look if you only wanted a few of these or if you wanted a lot but anyway they are in the sales section and uh, it's beautiful i really enjoy this kit so i thought for fun what i would do is just put together some really simple designs and just show you how versatile this fantasy necklace is and i'll do it quickly i won't take a ton of time in between so i just want to show you like four or five different designs really quickly and let's get started so to thread it on here's the mamma mia and you just kind of put it through the center and here's the first design. So Mamma Mia, Clarity. And for fun, I put in the Malachite because I think it picks up the green leaves in the Mamma Mia. If you get a chance to pick up the Mamma Mia, this is probably one of my best surprises. It, it is in the clearance section and I adore this bead. It is so pretty. It's really well done, especially with the Fantasy Pearl. So this is the first design. The Clarity is really neat because it's um, not symmetrical. The different petals are all different heights. And I do find I like a simpler design on my fantasy necklace. This next design is gonna be super simple. So I've got the giant lotus and the blossom bead. So I'm sorry, my camera angle's a little bit off, but you get the general idea of just silver without glass. And I think that's super pretty and simple. So this round I'm taking off the blossom and I'm only adding the Mamma Mia. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think the white backdrop of the Mamma Mia and the pearl together is really nice. And in this round I'm going to put the clarity. And I'm putting the clarity this way so it kind of covers up the pearl a little bit. Actually it doesn't cover it up but you'll see what I mean. And then after the clarity, I'm going to put the giant lotus, the mamma mia, and then the blossom bead. So this is probably the biggest stack that I've ever done, um, just adding the blossom bead. And to be honest, even this seemed a bit much for me, and I kind of preferred it like this. And now I'm going to show how different glass beads can totally change up the look. So I'll take the Mamma Mia off. And this is a spring green. So no matter what color outfit, you can go dark, you can go light. Like there's so much versatility with this. And here is the pink trace. So yeah, there's just so much variety that you can do. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys is different uh, fantasy necklace designs. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing all of my new beads that I've added to my collection and a few different designs that I've made. And I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.